Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'm going to show you instant breakfast recipe that's dhokla. So let's see the ingredients. For making dhokla we need chickpeas flour or basin 1 cup, salt about 2 teaspoons, turmeric powder half a teaspoon, powdered sugar half tablespoon and ino fruit salt one sachet. For tadka we need oil about 2 to 3 tablespoons, then mustard seeds or rye half teaspoon, green chilies one or two, garlic cloves about 4 to 5 garlic cloves and curry leaves. I have dried them and stored my curry leaves. You can use fresh leaves also. Lemon juice, half a tablespoon. Let's start making dhokla now. First, we'll take all the dry ingredients in the sea. Chickpeas flour. Then this powdered sugar. Salt. And turmeric and we'll add this ino sachet also and we'll see this Now this powder is ready. Repeat this procedure once or twice again. It is to trap the air inside uh, this powder so that we get the fluffy dhokla. Before mixing dhokla mix, keep the dhokla plate ready. Apply some oil on the plate and keep it ready. Add water little by little and keep mixing. Now adding lemon juice for the activation of eno. Add this moisture smoothly like this. Don't just rotate your spatula vigorously in the mixture. Now this dhokla mix is ready, we will quickly transfer it in the dhokla tray. I have applied oil on the dhokla tray. Now I will quickly transfer this dhokla mix. Dhokla tray is ready, we will quickly transfer it to the steamer. I have already kept my steamer for steaming. We'll steam this dhokla on a medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes, let's check. The smoke is coming out clean. That means it's done. Now we'll turn off the flame and let it cool down for 10 minutes. Now after 10 to 15 minutes, this dhokla is completely cooled down. Now we need to cut, cut it into pieces. Now we will make square pieces of dhokla here. I have used bigger plate for dhokla so dhokla will not be that thick but if you use smaller plate it will be thick. Now we have cut them. 
Now we'll give tadka to it. For tadka, add two to three tablespoons of oil to a pan and heat it. And as the oil is hot, add mustard seeds to it. And as the mustard seed crackles, add garlic cloves. We have chopped garlic in small, small pieces. Then we'll add chilies to it. Chilies you can reduce or you can uh, add more chilies to make it spicy. Then add curry leaves to it. One or two minutes and then we'll turn off the flame. And let it cool down a bit. And we'll add some water to it. Because this dhokla is very dry and we need to moist it throughout. So we'll add some water to tadka and little powdered sugar to give the sweetness to our dhokla. Now we'll add this tadka water on dhokla. We'll spread it all over. And spread this water all over generously because we have to make the dhokla moist. Generally chickpea flour is very dry so when we steam it it becomes dry and when we eat it dry it stucks in our throat. So better to make it nice and moist. Now we have put, uh, now we have put this uh, tadka water generously. Now we'll check dhokla. As you can see, the dhokla is very soft, and now it's nice and moist. Enjoy this dhokla. Enjoy this dhokla with green chutney, tamarind chutney or any kind of chutney or just fried green chilies. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.